but it wouldn't be enough for me as a photographer to start featuring that. It was more the context in combination with the cats. It's, it's one, one doesn't go without the other. I think they're both equally important. It's the cat specifically in that type of store situation where it gets a little bit, uh, well, it's a traditional store for, for, for starters. It's also quite interestingly chaotic and messy and timeless in a way. So I thought it was quite interesting to have the cat sitting in the midst of all that. And I was surprised how many of these cats are in stores in Hong Kong. Yeah,好像不是幾習慣 Mogan Besides that, this is an area with a lot of traditional stores and there, it is already, um, there's signs of it that the gentrification is happening. Coffee shops are taking its place, boutiques are moving in, galleries are moving in. It's becoming a trendy neighborhood and this kind of trade may move somewhere else or might totally disappear. So I wanted to, to capture that for future generations. The, the photos are actually quite timeless in a way. They don't really show that it's 2016 in most of them. It could have been taken 30 years ago. So it's, there, there's something to it that, that captures the Hong Kong heritage and, and that's, I think that, that there's something that, that I wanted to uh, reveal there. Thank <laughs> you. 